paper for 15, he'll actually sit at the defense table. For $20,000, he'll twice lean forward and whisper something in your ear. It's not about the tornado. Oh, white suit, that's extra. Oh, that's an awful lot of money for the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Oh, the the jury is love him. That's just it, Dad. There won't be a jury because we are pleading <laughs> guilty. I am not guilty. Oh, I didn't want to tell you this. Are you ready for the bombshell? Andy Griffith was in the bombshell? I'm a patsy. I was set up by the Brits. A group of Brits. Michael it's was in like the Lincoln. He's in the only English TV section of Orange County. You heard of the, it's kind of like Lincoln. <laughs> it's a big body. I need to check the records for any British owned building businesses that would have applied for license about 10 years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. You'll need a UK passport to check those files. Therefore, British eyes only. Don't I look kind of British? Perhaps if you're willing to lose 20 pounds. The clerk <laughs> was asking for a bribe, but this was lost on my... Oh, oh perhaps... Oh, what do we pass? We're here till eight, and do stay for the bottoms. So Michael went to the local pub to see if he could find someone... Where is he? Like, Canada? I missed that either. Are they just, like, on set somewhere? What's the soup of the day, man? Bread. And the soup of the day is bread. Unless you're just here for the puppets. And that's when Michael saw the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen. Not her. Wait for it. Hey, Charlize! She's not British. Well, I guess she's Scottish. She's got the Scottish hair. We Britain. Great Britain, actually. I, I was wondering if you might be willing to go somewhere with me. I, I would pay you. You pay me. Not, not for sex. You know, think that I'm Jack the Ripper, right? Didn't you need to kill prostitutes? Or... I'm not a prostitute. I shall let you live. <laughs> I shall let you he live. Is. That's my worst. Hold on. Horrible at this. Let me try again. My name is Michael. Rita. So I need access to these files that are apparently for British eyes only. And lucky for you, my whole face is British. It's just across the street. I got that cook guy. Hello. Let's show. It's late. It must be, it it must be a little bit slow. After all, we're just going to go to court, plead guilty. That'll be that. So it's fine by your reason then. Yes, I'll shake your hand goodbye. But actually, I was wondering if I, if you might want to. I wouldn't. Rita was just talking about the finger paint, but Michael didn't know that. I was just wondering if you might want to bid me fair moral. What is he doing? Can he not just do Michael be was filled with self-loathing. Had he been Jack the Ripper, <laughs> he would have soothed himself in a most unsavory way. But instead, he just sat in his car and ate a whole thing of candy beans. Candy and back at the pit house, can't say jelly beans. Job had been called to see his father. Good plan. Right. You put me in the trick. You make me the guy in the cave. I just gotta say, I'm really blown away by this. You really want to be part of my world. God, I feel like my heart is straining through my shirt. They take the ankle monitor off when I get to court. So, you make me disappear, you put Tobias in the cage, and by the time they realize that that guy is not me, I'm running through the storm drains to freedom. Where every day it rains. Pennies. Heaven! This bird today. Joe, I know you're looking for a twin for your illusion, and there's somebody I'd like hey, to put in the for. <laughs> Correction, make that 4,000 floods. Oh, oh God. Oh, come Mr. on. Mr. Gary, Mr. Gary? No, 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 no. I, I was scared, too. But I realized... Baby! Who are you? A leading man. Oh, I can just taste those meaty leading man parts in my mouth. All right, listen to me. The trick has changed. You want me to play me now. Well, but that would mean I'd have to... Oh, why is it so bloody? What is going on? Tender head, I see. Okay. Well, perhaps uh, I jumped the gun on... Those new headshots. <laughs> and later that day, Michael arrived at the same. I can't believe you're just giving off like this. It's like they just stabbed him. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about the girl you said you had a date with. All right, so I lied. It wasn't a date. But you could have made one with her. I think that Poppins knocked courage out of you. I guess I'm just not in the league. How did you hear about the Poppins? It was on the news. An unlicensed Mary Poppins takes down another tourist. Is this the work of the itsy bitsy IRA? I don't want to 
talk about this right now. Dad, we're going to go in there. Andy Griffith's going to whisper something. We're going to plead guilty. Nice and simple. You didn't hear. We lost him. What are you talking about? You didn't hear this trailer. You thought we were making fun of him. No one was making fun of Andy Griffith. I can't emphasize that enough. I can't emphasize that enough. Oh, my God. That was now the joke's doing his magic show. Oh, boy. A stupid magic show. we got to watch this. I'll make turn out. I think a lot of people are probably here for the good chicken. Gather around, humans, and I will show you the plight of an innocent oh, man. I free chicken, yes. so they think there's free chicken, babe. Yes, sir. Burn! Oh, God, it's been like me since. Who shall I send on this journey to that dangling cage? Oh, pick me. Oh. Look, can I be in this stupid trick? Please? Steve Holt, what are you doing here? Steve Holt, what are you doing here? <laughs> Was you? Do you like magic? Look at Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, like I love it. And at that moment, Joe chose to show his own son what he was capable of. I'm just saying I will be performing the feat myself. Wait, we're back to hair? Fortunately for Tobias, however, he found it too painful to part with his new hair. Ah! Boy, baby, I can't erase. So he opted to wear a bald cap. This chicken. <sighs> Shall be wrongly cooped. Oh my god! Dad, are you alright? I fooled his own son. I am a leading man. Oh and Job himself was running through the storm drain. <laughs> Free as a chicken. <laughs> and George Sr. needed to escape too. I got him. There you go. <laughs> you get away from me. Keeps him out of the kitchen. And Michael, seeing what a life of cowardice leads to, decided he had enough of it. And soon George Sr. came too, and it was time to render a plea. The prosecution has got that stud from LA Law. It's Harry Hamilton. I love my trailer. Yeah. In the matter of the people versus blue. <laughs> I love my trailer. We plead. He got the guy yeah. from LA Law. Order in that court. Well, Cameron, I'm tired of the cowardice. You're not guilty. We're going to fight this. We'll get the truth on our side. They don't have a prayer. They don't have a fucking prayer. This is what Jackie got to do. Well, I'm proud of you. Here to do so much for me. I just hope those Brits are as dangerous as death said. Well, they're not going to get any closer to us. If they do, we're going to see them coming. Oh, my God. That's Rita. I told her I was coming here. Oh, my God. Is she the assassin or something? That's Rita? Yeah. Wow, she's way out of sleep. I'm glad you're here. I want to call you sometime and take you out. Yeah, I'm not sure Lisa's tall. I really like that. Little Jason baby can't be that same height. And then just to prove to himself he wasn't a coward, he went one step further. And Rita was happy to be in Michael's life as well. For you see, Rita had a secret of her own. Yeah, she's like the... <laughs> What's that secret? That she's, she's working for the British. Oh, what's well, that? Yeah, she's British. Yeah, but I'm saying, that wasn't <laughs> clearly what it was the whole time. Oh. I thought he was related to him. That's why he drove up on him and said, how would you like somebody to come pick on the stupidest person in your family? Because no, she's the stupidest person in their family. That's not what it was. Oh, and that's why I thought she was slow at the school. You know, she's a little, she's a little off, you know? Oh, he totally put those pieces all the way together wrong. I have this all figured out. All right, that was episode two of Arrested Development, and that was uh, fairly entertaining right there. Although, it did throw me for a loop-de-loop. -loop. I didn't really get the British part that was going on. I still don't get it. I mean, I guess they, I don't know, did did George Sr. hire them or they hired George Sr.? I thought George Sr.'s whole argument was that the British hired him to do the building as a patsy, but now he's saying, I don't know those people right there, and so I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but those they don't want. People, they don't want, they essentially don't want, um... 
Michael to find the truth that the British were involved in all oh, of that. Oh, and just involved so, in it. And he's investigating in the files. He's going to see the only British people could see it. That's why he wanted Rita to come back with him so he could see, yeah, the, so files. He could see the files. But then he got threatened yep. and come to find the person that threatened is actually working with Rita too. Rita's one yeah, of the people threatening. Yeah. Which so I guess that part, but okay, so I guess the whole thing is really the Brits just don't want to have nothing to do with George Sr. No, situation. they already did, and they don't want it to come out. That yeah, that's what I mean. Involved. They don't want that to be exposed. Yeah. That they helped out with that situation. Okay, well, that's just hilarity. But I like how they figured out how they was going to get George Sr. out of jail so he can at least be on camera. But what about his brother, though? Is his brother just going to stay locked up now that we got... I don't know what the situation is with that. But um, it's funny that they got this dynamic going on. So I'm interested to see more of that right there. So we shall see. Um, I loved all the, the British humor. Um, I thought the one especially that stood out was when he was like, for 20, or if you can lose 20 pounds, and he thought it was yeah. literally <laughs> not the monetary side. Uh, I thought all those jokes worked. It was really fun seeing uh, Charlize. Uh, she's one of my favorites too, so I'm curious to see if she's involved or how much further they involve her and when all that reveal comes up. But I thought this was just a really fun and entertaining episode, very clever as per usual, and very intrigued to see where it goes from here. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Arrested Development Season 3, Episode 2. And until next time, people, peace.